What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Since you guys absolutely killed it in last video, I challenge you guys to get 500 likes and we are almost at 1500 so far and uh, 55,000 views. You guys are nuts. So welcome to everybody who's joined the channel since that video has been uploaded. I hope you guys have been looking forward to this one. I know I have, but before we get into it, I want to challenge you guys. Let's actually try and get 1500 likes. I think I might have done that maybe a handful of videos. So I think we can do it though. So hit that like button very gently once again. Don't damage it, okay? It's very delicate. And if you are enjoying these types of videos, feel free to subscribe because I will try to upload some more if I can think of any other ideas and how to milk this concept. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. But anyways, like last one, we are going to take one player from every available team that's in NHL 19, so all 31 current NHL teams, and then a couple defunct NHL teams as well. We're going to grade them using, again, a school grading system from A plus to F, and we're just going to have some fun roasting some virtual heads. So let's get into it. So once again, we're going to go in team alphabetical order, starting with the Anaheim Ducks. And the legend for this one is Timu Solani. Right off the bat, uh, the facial hair, I think they nailed. I mean, I, he tended to have that soul patch there and not much of a beard otherwise. Uh, the nose looks good. The eyes are a little bit off, I think. They should probably be farther apart. The eyebrows are solid. They obviously got the Jofa bucket on him as well, although I'm not sure if he actually ever wore that type of Jofa. I always thought he wore the rounded one, but I could be wrong. Anyways, like I said, this looks like Timo Solani. A few things there that aren't really up to par, like the eyes and the face shape, I think, could have been a little different. So I'll give this one like an A-. minus. Next up, we got Solani's Finnish friend, Teppo Newmanen from the uh, Phoenix Coyotes, who are now the Arizona Coyotes, who were also previously the Winnipeg Jets. This is not this is not Teppo Newman. He's got facial hair. He Most of the time, he had facial hair, I think. I mean, the guy on the right is looks like some stock head. I feel like they might have nailed the moles on his face, but that's literally it. I mean, just looking at this without the picture, don't know who the hell it is. So that is going to be a, f a quick first failure of this episode. And there's more to come. Trust me. Next up, we got one of the oldest players on this list from the Boston Bruins, Johnny Busick. <laughs> In a general sense, he's a white guy, pretty plain looking with black hair. It's really not realistic at all. Like, I don't know if it's just the color grading of this photo or not, but I'm sure he was a pale dude, but this is like ghost pale. It's like Finnish pale. I'm not sure what headshot they actually used to build this, this, uh, you know, virtual player. But I mean, Johnny Busick, he's got wrinkles. As you can tell, he's an old looking dude. He's got a broken ass nose. This guy is like face is perfectly symmetrical. Nothing really resembles Johnny Busick, to be honest. I mean, the hair's all right. He's got the freckles on there. So we'll give him that. It's a near fail, but it'll pass with a D. Yeah. F, 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 kill it. Kill it, F. Phil, what do they do to you? I feel like Helsley would be a pretty easy dude to nail, right? You got the red hair, you got the stash, and I mean, the blue eyes, the face, whatever. But why did they do to his mouth? Those teeth are not human. Why is his lower lip just dangling like that? Easiest fail I've ever given. So your Calgary Flames legend is Theo Fleury. Like once again, they've really not done him any justice. I mean, he's, he's a pretty recognizable guy. I don't know who I'm looking at here on the right. Other than the fact that they kind of nailed the visor, it's not Theo Fleury, it's just not. This one's probably closer to a fail than Johnny Busick, so I'll give it like a D minus. To Carolina Hurricanes fans, I apologize. Number one, there aren't very many Carolina Hurricanes legends in this game. The only one is in hot is Rod Brindamore. He's 87 overall, and I'm not about to spend 150,000 coins just to get a headshot of him for this video. So we're going with the next best thing, Eric Stahl. Of course, well, I would have liked Ron Francis too, but he's not in this game. Of course, the headshot I've got right now, he's on the Minnesota Wild, but he's a Canes legend. He's one of their top franchise scorers of all time. It looks like Eric Stahl, so I'll give him that. The chin should probably be a little bit stronger, and I think his eyes should be a little bit more open. Uh, the nose is good, the facial hair is good. I mean, it looks like Stahl, but not exactly like him. So I'll give it an A- minus for a decent effort. Now with the Chicago Blackhawks legend, I'm sure you guys can guess who it is without even uh, looking at the headshot. This is, of course, Stan Makita. He just passed away earlier this year. That's why the Hawks are wearing number 21 on their jerseys this season. And they got to give an EA pat on the back for nailing his headshot because every single detail is almost perfect. His hair, his hairline is perfect. His forehead got the wrinkles on the forehead even. 
the eyes a little bit smaller, the eyebrows, the big, you know, round nose there, uh, the head shape, the mouth, it's just pretty much flawless. It's a win. Stan Makita, rest in peace. EA did you justice. And this is our easiest A plus we've ever given. Moving on to the Avs. And of course, we had to go with Burnaby Joe, Joe Sackick. The headshot I'm using, he's a little bit younger. He's a little bit more in his prime. I don't know whether EA looked at an older version of Joe Sackick or, or not. It looks like him. Like, yes, without, without looking at him in real life, you can tell it's Joe Sackick, but you know, it's just his face, I feel like, is a little bit too long. His nose is a little bit too straight. And uh, yeah, overall, it's, there's just a few things that are off about this that, you know, doesn't do Joe Sackick 100% justice. So we'll give this one a B, a B plus. It's pretty difficult to find legends to use for the younger NHL teams. Uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets being one of them. Obviously, I'm going to wait till we get to Vegas. I was going to go with RJ Umberger for the Jackets because he's in the game. He's on one of the alumni teams. But I thought, let's go with Rick Nash. He's in the game. He's arguably the biggest you know, Columbus Blue Jackets legend, and he's technically not playing in the NHL anymore. So we'll bring him up here, Rick Nash. I mean, it looks like him. You, you can't deny that. Uh, the facial hair they nailed, that's kind of his trademark, uh, with the scruffy looking hair at the top, which we can't see because most of these guys are wearing helmets. The small eyes they nailed, the eyebrows are good too, the nose. I want to give this an A+, plus, but there's just something about his face. It might be the shape of it that doesn't really go, but we'll give it the next best thing. We'll give it an A. The man who scored the controversial Stanley Cup winning goal against the Buffalo Sabres, is Brett Hull, and he's your Dallas Stars legend. Now, don't worry, Mike Medano, he'll come up later in the video for a different Stars base team. Brett Hull, they nailed. I mean, I think his trademark is the kind of glaring eyes, which is actually appropriate here, not like Carey Price. And then the nose, obviously, and the small little mouth there. They nailed it. It, it looks like Brett Hall. I mean, I can't really see his hair, and I don't think he ever wore a CCM helmet, but I, I don't worry about the equipment. We're just looking at the face. I think this will have to be our first back-to-back -back A. It seems like at the top of this list, anyways, they nailed a lot of the faces here, uh, with the exception of a few. But Chris Chelios, I mean, again, it looks like him. I feel like the face should be a little bit more narrow. Chelios has that narrow face. He's most recognizable for a few of the scars that he's got on his face after his lengthy, to say the least, career. So they nailed the one above his upper lip. That's probably the most notable, but he's got one on one on the cheek here. He's got one below his lip that I that they missed, I think. So they could have done a little bit better with those details if they really wanted to put in the time. The nose is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's 100%, but overall, again, you can tell that it's Chris Chelios. So we'll give this one an A-. minus. I assume most of you guys came to watch this video to look and see how the biggest names in NHL history did in NHL 19 and uh, Wayne Gretzky is obviously the biggest one. He's on the thumbnail and they nailed him. They had to. If they didn't nail this, NHL 19 as a whole would have been a failure. They got Legend Edition. They got the 99 Wayne Gretzky edition there. He's back in the game this year for the first time since I believe NHL 14. So it's a big deal to have the great one in there. And uh, EA did a great job with this. They nailed his signature Jofa helmet along with all his other details, his flowy hair, his big sharp pointy nose, the chin they got, the eyes are solid, probably could have been a little bit bigger, but it might just be because he's squinting in this photo. Wayne Gretzky in real life definitely looks like himself in NHL 19. And he plays like himself too. He's a monster. Have you played? Have you tried him? Easy, easy, A plus for Wayne Gretzky. And that's not the last one. If you're looking at this photo and saying, hey, why are you including Mitch Marner in this? Toronto shouldn't be for a while. Well, you're kind of right. Does look a hell of a lot like Mitch Marner. It's actually supposed to be Scott Mellenby, your Florida Panthers legend. Don't know what they did here. Don't see any resemblance whatsoever other than it being a white guy. So yeah, from an A plus to an F. I'm kind of bummed about this one because uh, in Hockey Ultimate Team, if you didn't know, uh, you can collect monthly collectibles and exchange them in every month for a specific legend. So I think the legend for September or October, I can't remember which one, um, it was Ray Ferraro and I couldn't keep up. I didn't get him. So I wasn't able to use his player headshot, but I was able to use his analyst headshot because he's always between the benches in NHL 19 giving his uh, analysis of the game. So here's his player headshot on the left. That's what he looked like with a beautiful mustache there. He played for the Hartford Whalers, of course. But for the sake of the footage that I got in NHL 19, we'll just compare him to how he looks like in the analyst booth anyways. And I mean, the headset they nailed, obviously. Uh, the glasses, actually this picture I got him without glasses, but he does wear glasses occasionally. He's mostly clean shaven as he is in 19. And yeah, it definitely looks like him. 
but it doesn't look exactly like him. I feel like there's a little too much space right there. And the hair, I feel like he should have less of it. It should probably be a little bit more tan. But otherwise, I mean, you can tell. I mean, who the hell else is going to be standing in between the boards with a headset like that with glasses on? It's obviously Ray Ferrar. This one's good, not great, so we'll give it a B. Arguably the best player to have never won a Stanley Cup, Marcel Dion is your legend for the LA Kings. He's a pretty unique looking dude. He's got a squished little face there. Uh, but a big forehead. I know his hair covers it up in this photo, but uh, he's definitely got a big forehead. You can kind of see it starting in NHL 19 there. So they did nail that detail, but I feel like his, his face should be a little more squished in 19. Otherwise, he got that kind of fat nose there, the bushy eyebrows, the yeah, the eyes. They, they nailed pretty much everything, uh, except I think the face shape should all have been a little bit more compressed. So we'll give Marcel Dion an A-. minus. Now we're circling back to Mike Medano, who is the Minnesota North Stars legend. This is kind of an older, close to retirement Mike Medano that they have in 19 here with the, the facial hair. The nose is good, you know, the, that strong, solid nose there. Uh, the eyes probably a little bit more open. The face shape is good. Uh, eyebrows probably could have a little bit more bushy. But yeah, otherwise this looks like Mike Medano. I think we'll give him an A. Now looking at the other Minnesota team, the current one, um, the Minnesota Wild. This one was again kind of hard because it's a fairly young team. So they don't really have any established legends, but the one I could think of that's actually in the game is Marion Gabrick. Obviously he's on the Senators now, not doing that hot. He's at the tail end of his career though, you can't really blame him, but uh, how he looks in 19, I mean, he should probably have a little bit less hair. The wrinkles, I guess you can kind of see them faintly in NHL 19. Uh, the eyebrows, way too bushy, don't know where they got that. And the beard as well, too bushy. The nose is, I guess, all right. The Eyes are good, probably should have more crow's feet there. He's got a lot in real life. He's one of those guys in the league that has a pretty decent neck beard. And I don't even think the beard's the right color either. So uh, gotta knock, knock him down a few ranks for that as well. It's not totally horrible. It's probably an average or a little bit above average. So we'll give it like a B minus. The Montreal Canadien, we've got Guy Lafleur. There are so many legends to choose from. And in the game, he looks pretty much spot on. One thing I will say, the eyes are kind of weird, but otherwise his hair, He's got that signature flow uh, with the receding hairline there. He's got that big, fat little nose there, and the face shape itself is good. Mostly clean cut, a little stubble, and a uh, small little mouth. So this is definitely Guy Lafleur. I will knock him a little bit for those eyes, but other than that, it's solid, earning him an A. Nashville Predators, also one of the youngest teams in the league, so... Uh, finding a legend in games kind of a stretch. Uh, I went with Martin Erat. I'm sure National Predators fans are actually happy about this because they sent him to Washington for Philip Forsberg. Do you guys remember that? I'm sure. I, I know Caps fans do. He plays in one of the European leagues. I don't want to get the country wrong, so I won't even guess. But what's mind-boggling to me about this whole thing is how they made Martin Erat's headshot more accurate than guys like Phil Housley or like Teppo Newman or... Matt Sundin, as you will see shortly, like my god. Anyways, Erat's got that small, kind of round face. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look totally like him. The nose, I guess they got. The eyes, yeah. Facial hair and mouth, eh. Well, I mean, what are you gonna do? I'm sure the diehards could probably tell this is Martin Erat, but uh, to the layperson, probably not. So we'll put it in the middle, thinking like a C plus. Moving on to the Devils, we got Ken Danico. He's got that farm boy looking face, a strong chin and the jaw there. Don't know who I'm looking at in NHL 19, to be honest. So this is again, very, very tragic. I mean, I'll give them points for maybe the facial hair and the eyes, but other than that, it's it's pretty trash. We'll give it a D. The Islanders legend will go with Trache again. Lots to choose from, but I feel like he's one of the biggest names, the most notable. And his look too, he's got that nice little stash there, which they did uh, nail in 19, but that's pretty much it. The rest of his face doesn't really look anything resembling Brian Trottier. I guess they nailed the bushy eyebrows as well, but if, if, if all they can nail is the facial hair, and even sometimes they don't do it. Gotta give Trottier like a C on this one. Now, Rangers legend is pretty easy to pick Mark Messier. In terms of being able to recognize a hockey player's name, I feel like Messier is right up there with Gretzky and Lemieux and all the greats, right? So EA should nail him, right? But ugh. the nose, sure. Eyebrows, yeah. The mouth is all weird. Looks like he stuffed it with cotton balls or he's doing the chubby bunny challenge or something or he's just about to puke. One of the details he did nail though is the proximity of the eyebrow to the eye itself. It's it's nice and it hugs that top lid very t tightly which I do like but uh, the, the mouth is horrible. Chin, not good. They gave him a butt chin for some reason and they didn't even give him the signature Marc Messier bucket, which, I mean, might be due to licensing purposes. So he just slapped a bower on him, but would have helped to complete the look, you know? Anyways, Marc Messier, not good. It's not a fail because you can tell it's him, but 
relatively, it's pretty bad. We'll give it a C minus. Wade Redden is your uh, legend for the Ottawa Senators. And uh, yeah, they, they didn't do it very good at all. Uh, he's kind of always had like a facial hair, mostly like a goatee around his mouth. Nothing to be seen on this kid's face. I will give them points for the bushy eyebrows and that's it. D minus, near fail. The guy who designed Bobby Clark at EA must not like him. Must not be a fan. Looks like a like an orc from Lord of the Rings. Kind of resembles Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter. The hair, I mean, yeah, sure, he's got that brown flow, but otherwise, yikes. They gave him those creases from the nose uh, over the mouth there, but that's literally the only thing I can pick out is the hair they kind of nailed and that detail in the mouth. Otherwise, I don't know who the hell I'm looking at here. It's a D plus for Bobby Clark. We've gotten to the Pittsburgh Penguins. In the actual current player one, we use Sidney Crosby. He was an A+. And in the Legend Edition, Super Mario. And he's an A+, as well. Of the two people they need to nail, Gretzky and Lemieux, they got them both. And uh, yeah, easy easy A+, pluses in my book. They got this detail here by the nose. Uh, the nose itself is good, just pointy. The mouth is solid. Eyebrows, good. Eyes, good. Cheeks, face shape. It looks like Mario Lemieux. Well Done. For what I would consider like a middle of the pack name in terms of legends, they actually did Peter Snasty pretty good. The one thing I will say is it probably, again, should have left more space between the nose and the upper lip, but the chin they nailed, the facial hair is good. The eyebrows are almost spot on. These are probably the best eyebrows of any legend today. The eyes, the nose, they're all good. It's just that one little detail, I think. He's, it looks like he's got a bit more space than they uh, they take him for granted, I guess. So Peter Snasty, this is pretty impressive. We'll give it like a We'll give it an A. Now, San Jose Sharks fans, I desperately wanted to use Owen Nolan for this, but he's some crazy expensive player in Hut that I would never have gotten for this video. So you'll have to settle for the all-time leader in games played and points, who's currently a Toronto Maple Leaf, yes, I know, but Patrick Marlowe, you know, his number should be retired as a San Jose Shark, to be honest. And seeing as he's a current player, they, they did him justice here with his headshot. I mean, the hair and the hairline, they nailed perfect, no complaints about that. Uh, the nose is good, the cheeks, the beard, the smile, well, non-existent, nobody smiles in HL 19, but I mean, the mouth. The only thing of the eyes, and I don't know what, if it's just the lighting, like, shining down and making their eyes look evil and dead, but uh, yeah, it's not good. The bushy eyebrows, they nailed, so it's just the eyes, and maybe the face shape, the jaw probably should be a little sharper, but otherwise, they nailed Patty Marlowe. We'll give it an A-. minus. Al McInnes is a pretty big name in my eyes anyways for Calgary Flames fans and St. Louis Blues fans. He's the Blues legend uh, in this video, but uh, yeah, I don't know what they did. They just forgot to do a headshot for him. Maybe they put him late in the game or something, but it looks like some prospect from Sweden or Finland, not Al McInnes. So this is, this is one of the first of many Fs that we're going to see shortly. Tampa Bay, we got Dave Anderchuk. Now, although he played most of his career with Buffalo, he won a Stanley Cup with the Tampa Bay Lightning. I don't know. It's confusing. Like his, the face is totally wrong. It's not Dave Anderchuk, but they nailed the facial hair. And I know this picture I'm showing doesn't have it, but you know, when he won the cup, he was rocking that beauty goatee all day. Other than that, this looks nothing like Dave Anderchuk, but I won't fail it. I'll give it like a D. As a Leafs fan and as one of my favorite players growing up, what they did to Matt Sundin is unforgivable. <laughs> like, who is this? It's not Matt Sundin. Who's smirking at me right here? It's not Matt. It's just so bad in any aspect. I can't even try and like argue for something about his headshot that looks remotely like Matt Sundin. It's just, it's just awful. And I must state this again. How do you nail Martin Erat? over Matt Sundin, Matt freaking Sundin. You know how many Leafs fans buy this game just to use Matt Sundin after you announce that he's in the game? Then they go and look at the player they're using on the ice and like, who the hell stole my Matt Sundin? Unforgivable, F, F minus, Z. And continuing with the failure trend, another Swede, maybe they just don't like doing Swedes. Pedersen was an F, Sundin was an F, now Marcus Nasland. I have no idea who that is. It looks, it looks like some current NHL player, I wanna say. This is not Marcus Nasland at all. I know he had a bit of facial hair, but no, nah, you're not you're not getting any points for that. This is not Marcus Naslin at all. F. So we're on a little bit of an F streak here, and uh, Vegas will continue it. We will use the player who has been under contract for the team for the longest amount of time, the first player as part of the Vegas Golden Knights organization, but who has yet to play a regular season NHL game, Reed Duke. That's that's Reed Duke on the left there. I don't know who the hell that is on the right. Just some stock looking asshole. But uh, just give the headshot a few pimples. That's all. That's all you need to not fail my class, but you did. It's not Reed Duke. 
they did him so dirty. How could you how could you not nail Reed Duke, man? He's such a legend. Let's make that three Fs in a row. Washington Capitals legend it will be Mike Gardner. I know, again, he played for a lot of teams, but... Uh, Slim Pickens here with the caps. And his trademark stash, obviously, it's, it's like all they care about is the facial hair. Okay, guys, nothing else. We're running out of time here. It's September 10th. We need those headshots in. I know we have them, but we're out of time. Forget the hair. Forget how they look as a human. Just get the facial hair. Slap it on there. That's it. I would have forgiven the way he looks if they just give him a little, you know, Peach fuzz poking out of there in the chest hair, but they couldn't even do that. I mean, points for the mustache, I guess, but even they nailed moles on current players. He's got a signature, at least a couple signature ones there. Nothing on this guy's face. Yeah, Mike Gardner gets a few points for me for the mustache, uh, but otherwise, no good. D. And last but not least, from your Winnipeg Jets, shout out Jesse from Bar Down. Um, this ain't Dale. It's just not. I mean, the eyebrows, maybe nose, maybe mouth. He's got a nice little teardrop smile there in the real life picture. He's kind of got Phil Helsley teeth, so I'm, it's freaking me out a little bit. The eyes are dead as, as dead can be, so I mean, probably couldn't tell it was Dale Howardchuck, but uh, I'll give points for the eyebrows and the nose, I guess. We're ending off this episode with a D plus for Dale. All right, guys, that'll about do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. We want to hit 1500 this episode. Like I mentioned earlier, if you have any other ideas for videos along this concept or something similar, whatever, post it in the comments or join my Discord. Links are in the description below, guys. If you want to directly support what I do in this channel, consider joining the channel as a member or sponsor. It costs five bucks a month and you get exclusive perks like interacting with me on a more intimate basis, merch discounts, uh, and access to other things that I will be launching soon. Let me know your ratings in the comments down below or whether you agree with my ratings. I had a blast reading through your comments last episode, so be sure to hit that up again. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next video, I'll see you guys then.